How you doing, Red Army? This is Casey doing it for 18 Same Day Casuals. We are brought to you by Terrace Cult and Moo Moo Me Ice Cream. And this is my max reaction for us versus Everton. Well, first of all, delighted that we got the win. I'm over the moon. You can see this is one of, one of our best performances by no means. I felt that we it was just a sloppy game. Everton was making it. They were mucking it up. They were slide tackling. They were, they were making the physical. Um... You could tell Lampard the whole I the whole attack for them was to come out and just make it an ugly game and see if we had the heart and we showed we did. This is a game where we usually lose and um, back in the time we would lose games like this when the teams would challenge us physically, challenge our heart, and challenge our character. These are the games we would lose, but that wasn't the case. First half, Rashford had a brilliant assist. First of all, let's talk about Marcus Rashford. He is playing elite. Um, it's it's just, it's just a good to see how he's dominating games. Now with him with the ball at his feet, it's exciting. You feel like something's going to happen, and, and he just he just makes all of our pulses rise. And this is what we want. This is what we expected from Marcus Rashford. It's so delighted with him. Anthony was on the rec receiving end of a go uh, mm -hmm. assist by him. Good to see Anthony get a goal. I still feel like he's struggling a bit. He's got to go on the pitch and work on that right foot. He's too easy to defend. And for someone who wants to, wants to do the things that he wants to do, he should not let that limit him. But all in all, good to see him get the goal. On the uh, other end, um, Mar on the Martial. Uh, I am keeping it simple with Martial. I know we want more output from him. I think his hold up play is still good. I think he shows signs of, you know, he's got it. But my whole thing with Martial, we just need for him to make it to summer. As long as he's still healthy, he will be fine. But he's got to start contributing on something because I'm worrying about Rashi's having too much output. I feel like Rashi's doing too much. Substitute, uh, substitutes out front. Um, it was good to see Martial go out, you know, because it was a physical game. So it was okay. Garnacho, I don't know. I'm okay with seeing Garnacho get some Anthony run. Really, because he's more direct. He seems he works with both legs fine. He's, you know, I just think he needs a weight room. You know, he gets pushed around a lot. Midfield wise, we, it was above average game for us in midfield wise. I felt we're dealing with a lot of fatigue in the midfield, and I think it's hampering our game. This was not our best game in the midfield by no means, but I felt like Clasimero was still excellent. He tried a couple passes that didn't work, didn't get there. Um, on the goal that they got, he actually got bounced, but he did, he did, you know, do a slide tackle, get in there, and make up for it. Let's talk about the goal that we gave up. You know, David DeHair did not... This, we did not deserve to lose a clean sheet today. It's funny. De Gea shows signs of clumsiness. There's these moments of clumsiness where, uh, let's say, when a ball's coming at his feet slow, it's like he gets clumsy moments, but when he has to dive and do great things, it's not a problem. It's just those little trickly balls, and he just he has that little clumsy in him. But all in all, it was a fine game, but De Gea, he really didn't get, get tested much. It's a shame that he gave up that goal it just made him look clumsy and he's, he's more graceful than that but all in all um let's see the the back four was interesting martinez didn't start so he went with shaw the center back i thought that to be interesting um it's telling mcguire a lot but we already know where mcguire stands i thought Varane was exceptional i think Varane right now is playing some good footy and you could tell when Martinez came in, to, in, the, in the, towards the end, him and Varane, it, it was just a different thing. They uh, work well together. You could tell the difference between Martinez and Shaw. I know mm -hmm. there's some people who thought Shaw can compete with Varane. I mean, Martinez, are you having a laugh? But these are good problems we have. I thought Malasia was decent. He wasn't terrible. He wasn't great. But I felt like he gave a good effort. He had some good tackles. Um... He had moments. He showed some athletic moments, you know. And I felt like, you know, um, all in all, it was a good performance for him. He He's solid. He's all, he's, he's a good squad player. He's a good backup player. But we can do better. Um, Dago Lolo, I think he, he was lively in the beginning. 
But, you know, it's a situation where guys are still trying to work themselves back into game shape. I think he dealt with that, too. I thought he lost some win early, but we need to get his feet going because we had some big matches going. You know, this game, McGuire got in. I was going to go and wrap it up. McGuire got in. You know, he didn't do bad. Um, it's good when you can bring him in for moments like this and close out a game. You know, you just don't want to depend on him. Uh, Scotty, I didn't feel like he really added much to the game, but it's good to see him get run. Another concern, when I talk about the midfield, let's go back to the midfield. Bruno looked like he went missing, but I'm going to tell you, we are dealing with a lot of fatigue in the midfield. It's bothering Erickson. You can see Casemiro was off a little bit today, and I think Bruno's suffering from that too. It just shows our squad depth. I think when we play our next game, Carlton, or Charlton, I need, we, we should see more, more squad turnover because we're going to need it. We're going to we need going we're going to need guys to feel peppy against City. We're going to need that. It's, if we can't beat Charlton with Scotty, Fred, Fred actually played a good game too. Also. Shout out to Fred. He came and did a great job. If we can't beat Charlton with Scotty and Fred in the midfield, what are we doing? Why are we paying these guys? we got to be able to do this. But all in all, I'm delighted with the win. You know, Ten Hogs did say that he wanted a team. He wanted to be a characteristic of this team. Is a We play bad, but we still win. I think that's what it was. We didn't play our best game. We weren't fully dominant. I think initially... Um, when um, some couple guys got injured for Everton, it became a scrappy, warry, fighty type game. But we stood up to them, and I'm very impressed with the boys. That's all we have to do is show this fight. These are games that we didn't win before. We didn't show character. We didn't show heart. We didn't show desire when a team pushes. We actually pushed them back and gave it to them. Man of a match, Marcus Rashford, what can you say? He's brilliant. Um, I thought Ten Hag handled the team very well. You need some water? My fault. No, that's not. I thought Ten Hag, I'm taking it. Ten Hag handled the team well. His in-game substitutions was just brilliant. And, it, you know, 3-1 win. United, we're on to the next round in the FA Cup. Everton's down. Uh, we were singing, you're going to get sacked in the morning. All that was going down. Delighted with the win. I love the FA Cup. 3-1. I think... We didn't deserve that goal, but it is what it is. Uh, next game is going to be uh, against Charlton, Caribou. We'll see how it goes. But all in all, 3 1 is what we want. This is Casey from 1878, 1878 Casuals, brought to you by Terrace Cult and Moo Moo Mia Ice Cream. Up the Reds, let's get the Glazers out of here. Good win for the boys. I know Ten Hog is going to use this for a teaching tool, gonna, he's going to have a lot to talk to them about. Up the Reds.